Hello, my name's Sammy Jordan. I work for Hope Together, where I'm the director of a project called Hope for Every Home. We want to pray for every street, road and lane across the UK. And that's not something that I can do on my own. I really need your help. So I want to invite you to pray for your streets, your roads, the communities where you live. It's something me and my family do anyway. I live on the south coast on a new estate where with my family we're trying to plant a church. So praying for our streets, our community and my neighbours is something that we do. And often these prayers can take the form of a prayer walk. We walk while we pray around the estate. Prayer walking is not for the super spiritual. Prayer walking is for everybody. Prayer walking is very simple. You don't have to say or do anything other than invite God to go on a walk with you. Ah, you say, but you know, I can't always get out of the house. Don't worry, you don't actually have to walk anywhere to do a prayer walk. It's great if you can, because being on a certain piece of ground brings it to life. But if you can't get out of the house, you can also prayer walk virtually too. You can bring up Street View or Google Maps, or maybe you just know your community and you can picture it in your mind. So today, let's think about prayer walking together and let's make it something that we can all do. In Genesis, it says Adam and Eve heard God walking in the garden. And when we walk and pray, we need to remember that God walks with us. For me, being physically present amplifies my sense of connection to both God and the people and place I'm praying for. I love Jeremiah 29 verse 7. Seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For, and this is the bit I love, in its welfare you will find your welfare. It inspires and encourages me to pray for, bless and serve my community because my well-being and flourishing is connected with its. So let's do it. As you get ready to go out for a walk, be intentional. Turn it into a prayer walk by inviting God to go with you as you open the door. Oh, and remember, when you're putting on your shoes, you are putting on shoes of peace. How can you pray for peace and blessing for your community? As you walk, notice where God prompts you to pause and pray. Stop outside neighbours' doors, maybe use their names as you pray for peace to enter their home. Do the same thing for shops, schools and businesses in your area. I often use road signs and markings to help me pray. Crossroads remind me to pray for people with decisions to make. Stop signs or red traffic lights for people who feel stuck. Amber lights and also bus stops for people who are waiting. And green lights for people who are going, people who are responding and doing something new. I also love to use nature. It reminds me of growth. What is God growing in our communities? I hope you enjoy prayer walking and connecting with God as you connect with your community. It's not complicated. It's not for the super spiritual. It's for everybody in our everyday. And it's a great way of connecting with our communities and connecting with God for them on a whole new level.